How you doing, uh, uh, Deacon? How you doing, hey, Mel Mellow Cap? Yeah. <laughs> well. Gotta go to church. We gotta go to church. I just want to take a moment to let you know and inform you that this Jezebel, this prostitute. This want to be a porn star lady, this fake Christian, the real demonic entity has officially on this platform. I told you she was a bum. We told you she was a bum. We told you she was trifling. We told you she has no scruples. We told you she has no honesty. She has no integrity. We told you all these people are like this. So she has officially declared war on this ministry she is now flagging our video. She is especially targeting the videos made by the Deacons of Reality. The Deacons of Reality videos clearly is putting a whooping on her and her cop. So I have no choice but to defend this platform and now and now it's on and popping you really want to hurt us by flagging our videos Because you don't like what we have to say. I've made no attempt to flag your channel. I've made no attempt to do anything like that towards you. But she is a coward. Alquan is a coward. Guy Nollywood Jr. is a coward. They will flag your channel. I know Alquan will flag your channel. I know Guy Nollywood Jr. will flag your channel. Now, I'm going to have to give credit where credit is due. I've seen no activity from Bakari. I've seen no activity from Gary Wilson, Cuckoo Cutter. It's not that serious. But I, I assume that, we, that when reality and truth cuts you real deep, 
you want to do anything that you can to silence that voice. So I'm going to see how this all going to turn out. You asked for it. So now I have no choice. You threw a nasty. Yes, it is. Sonetta does not, to my knowledge, he does not flag. Nepal Shadar, she does not flag. Polite does not flag. Young Pharaoh don't flag. Dr. Umar Johnson don't flag. But y'all cowards. We're dealing with cowards who know they are foul and don't want to admit that they're foul. But you just expose yourself more and more and more who and what you really are. The Deacons of Reality videos really, really hurt you. Absolutely, uh, Love 23. I don't know what else to say. Except we're gonna have to defend ourselves and she she's gonna have to pay for what she has done. The ultimate judge in all of this is you two. Because you don't control you two. Only thing you can do power the real Jezebel. The posture that has more is more of a woman and has more character and more integrity than you would ever have. She just speak. When you say something, she speak her part. She she has not tried to flag nobody's videos that I know of. No Sanya or these people that you talk about. Now the ultimate judge is you two. But as you can see, I am live. You piece of trash, ding back, wacky, dingling in the mouth, ding back. Now I am gonna make fun of your so-called molestation. And you told me that you did put that man's mouth uh, dingling in your mouth. You told me that. You told me you didn't know what sodomy is. And you was a virgin. And the first time you had sex, you put a dingling in your mouth. Because I guess it wasn't the first time. You're nasty and disgusting person. You have no integrity. You have no content of character. And we're going to come back live on my other channel. Not that I'm scared to use this channel. But I'm going to give this channel a break. We're going to start using Reality's Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Subscribe to the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. There go Love 23 is giving us a testimony. I've been flagged before. 100 channels destroyed. What make you think you're going to stop me from talking? What make you think you can keep me down? You're the loser. I'm a winner even when I lose. So the ultimate authority is you two. And you see, I'm talking. 
if my channel was in trouble, I could not go live. I will say that again. If my channel was in trouble from your flagging, I would not be live right now. They will restrict me going live. I'm gonna say that one more time for those who don't understand. If this channel was in flag trouble, I could not go live. You dingbat, I'm live. But the ultimate authority again is YouTube. Absolutely, pure loserville. You're a bum. You're trifling. You're pathetic. And I was telling you all this way before this happened. You got angry, don't want to deal with the reality and the truth. You are lazy. You are a loser. You're spoiled. I don't think Alquan encouraged her. She's a flagger. She flagged Guy Nollywood. Her, her best friend now, Guy Nollywood, she flagged his channel. She's a pathetic loser. She can't, de she can't defend her position. She went on Alquan's channel and his people destroyed her because she can't explain all this garbage she wrote in her book. And I told her, you're going to have problems. Trying to explain all this. Don't want to listen to nobody. So flagging makes you feel good, so be it. But you're going to have to deal with a whole lot of other stuff than flagging with your fake Christian Jesus humpback black Jesus loving ass. One of the most confused persons ever can't stand the reality of, of herself. She's some self-righteous goody two-shoe. Just by the way you talk, there's nothing goody two-shoe and righteous about you. You're nasty, you're vulgar, you're foul. You are coward. I will come on your channel. I will debate you anytime. The only thing you and Piggly Wiggly Karen know how to do is cuss and be profane and vulgar. You have nothing to stand on. So you just like any other coward that's been out here and the ultimate flip-flopper. You're Christian. You're Christian. You're a Hebrew Israelite. You're comedic. You're agnostic. You, you're Christian. you back atheist. What the hell are you? We're going to go, we're going to come back this evening and talk more about you on the other channel. Because you're fake. You're talking all this sex trafficking crap. But yet you approve of prostitution. Explain that to us. How can you be a, against pedophilia and pedophiles, but you say it's all right for prostitution? A lot of the sex trafficking has a lot to do with prostitution, you dingbat idiot. These folks are so fake. They're fake. Reality's tip on earth, internet ministry, our sister channel. We're going to come back later tonight. I'm going to give this channel a break. And we're going to go to Reality's Temple on Earth Internet Ministry.
and we're gonna spend some time over there. But again, we're not in, you're flagging the channel, but clearly, YouTube is not approving of a lot of your flags. I told, I told, uh, so brother 85, I told her, I told him rather, that she was going to start flagging when you use her, uh, some of her content, if she can, she's going to flag your videos, which your, all of your videos should fall under fair use, but that doesn't mean she can't flag. And YouTube is the ultimate authority. But I'm like Whoopi Goldberg. We're here, I might be black, and I might be ugly, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm like Whoopi Goldberg. What you do to me shall fall upon you. I'm like Whoopi Goldberg from the color purple. Hey, what's up, Z Man? We got this Jezebel troll flagging the channel. Cause you mad. You mad cause you a piece of trash. You mad cause you a, a stripper porn star wannabe. You don't have the guts. You don't have the guts. to be a porn star. And nobody want to see your ass out anyway, except those amateur folks. You got a lot of freaks that's willing to watch anything. They, they will give you $2, $3 for you to be in a porn movie. Here's a Christian person want to do porn. She didn't say stripper. She said, I want to be a porn star. Do I have the body to be a, a porn star, not a stripper? What is the mentality, what is the mindset behind somebody like that? You tell me. But we're going to come back later on Reality's Temple on Earth, Internet Ministry. And we're going to talk about this, this Jezebel dingbat coward. You funky sissy. And all of those that she hang around and chilly, they a bunch of cowards. And silly and mentally retarded. I never tried to flag your videos. I don't do that. I don't do the, the flag thing. Because I hold my own. I can defend my own. We stand on a strong foundation. You don't. So you're a coward and like the skunk that you are. And like the skunk that you are, you got to get down low. Like the, like the filth. Like the toilet breeder that you are. And how embarrassing. Since you want to tell everything, and everything is so funny. Let me say this, and I'm going to get out of here. True story. True story. When I was at this woman's house. Look, this is a true story I'm telling you. This is a true story. When I was at this woman's house. I went to the bathroom, I went to the bathroom, and there was a big turd, a big piece of shit laying next to the toilet. This woman missed the toilet and took a shit on the floor. You hear me? Since so you want to tell everything. Now explain that to to Alf 
Teflon. Explain it to Guy Nollywood. How the hell you miss the toilet and shit on the floor? And I'm like, whoa. And then she saw, and she knew that I saw this, and she laughed it off. She missed the whole damn toilet. How the hell? <laughs> now I was gonna keep that to myself. But since you wanna flag people and you wanna put put out put business out in the street, you explain to people how the hell you shit on the floor, you missed the whole damn toilet. Explain that to us. And you know, I'm in love and all that kind of good stuff, and I like the sister, but I'm like, wow, she missed it. You missed the whole damn toilet. How the hell? And she cleaned it up or whatever. How do you miss? <laughs> Since you want to tell everything, And she knows how my apartment looks like. And her ragged ass friends have never been in my apartment, don't know nothing about my apartment. I took her on a tour of my apartment. I showed her the bedroom, the, the, the kitchen, the bathroom, everything. So, you know what they're talking about is a bunch of bull. Now, my apartment is crowded. But I would never allow my apartment to get dusty and nasty and trashy. Because my mama did not raise us to be that way. Now, it's some other stuff that I could tell people about you. I keep it to myself for the time being. But right now, you open the door for everything with your doo-doo ass. How one of you got to take bath? She takes three, four, five baths every day. Who the hell need to take three, four, five baths every day? You must be shitting on yourself. That explains why you have to take a bet all these different showers, four, five showers every damn day. You can't control your bowels. You got a doo-doo problem. So that explains it right there. Because nobody, unless you 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 going to work out or whatever. You don't need to take three, four, five, six showers and baths every damn day. But maybe that is, that's because you can't hold your bowels and you're too ashamed to buy a diaper. Maybe that's the problem. Now, unlike you, I'm not going to tell no lie. She never smelled like shit. She never smelled like urine. I'm not gonna, everything that I say, I'll be happy to take a lie detector test. I have no reason to lie. That's the truth. You took a dump and missed the whole damn toilet. Shit is on the floor. And you laughed it off, I'm like, Okay. And I laughed it off too. But we're going to come back later on the other channel. And of course, she's a bum. She has a paralegal degree. And nobody will hire your ass because you're trifling. They can see in the job interview 
that you don't have no spunk, that you won't bring nothing to their company. You get angry at the world like they owe you something. Nobody owe you a damn thing. Clean up the shit in your house. Yeah, she left a whole log on the damn floor. There must be something wrong with your eyes. You didn't see the shit that you left right next to the toilet? Because I know I'm not going to do nothing like that. How you going to miss shit? How long? Maybe the, maybe the shit is... Maybe the shit is, is, is old. It wasn't fresh doo-doo. It was old doo-doo, and it became part of the, 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 the uh, bathroom decor, and it was just something, it was just something that you was used to seeing. I don't know. But you done something really, really cowardly. And YouTube is the authority but now you open the door. You open the door. Don't blame me. You open the door. Because you mad and you angry and you upset. You the one talking all this porn stuff. You the one talking about strippers. You a hypocrite. You want to be a stripper. You want to be a porn star. Even when your mother was alive. You made that video while your mother was alive. And you did it in the bathroom. And your mother was probably next door. And you in the bathroom. Telling everybody you want to be a porn star. And your Christian mother that you say is so good. You in the bathroom. Talk about I want to be a porn star. Did you tell your mother that you want to be a porn star? I can guarantee you, your mother did not watch and don't know nothing about the videos that you make. She didn't know that her daughter done turned into a freak. You're vulgar. Self-righteous, nasty, disgusting. You have really proven yourself to be a pure piece of trash. You a sewer rat, just like Guy Nollywood Jr. Birds of a feather do flock together. All of y'all, nothing but sewer rats. You belong in the gutter. Here you are, a grown-ass adult woman, and you missed the whole toilet and shit on the floor. Took a dump on the floor. True story, I don't have to lie. But we're gonna come back and really get into some stuff. Really talk about her, her hypocrisy and her trifling ass on Reality's Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. If you have not subscribed to the other channel, subscribe, because you don't want to miss nothing. And I encourage the deacons to keep doing y'all busy. We gonna keep posting. They can keep flagging whatever the hell they want to. We gonna keep doing our busy. We gonna keep smashing them. I'm very sure all your videos is fair use. I'm very sure she going through all my videos trying to find something to flag. You a pitiful, pathetic loser. I catch you brothers and, and sisters and those who are listening and those who will be listening later on. I catch y'all in about what, seven hours? Seven hours or whatever. We're going to talk some more about this Jezebel, this dirty, dirty, poor wannabe tramp. Until then, I'm, I, I just wanted to let you know that 
she's flagging our channel. And so now I have no choice. I got to take action. She's got to pay for what she's done. On that note, I catch y'all on the flip. On the other channel. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be on that channel. I'm not gonna do nothing on this channel. We're gonna spend some time on the other channel. But again, Miss Foss Flagger, Piggly Wiggly, all you pathetic suckers. I'm going to the other channel, not because this one is in trouble. If this channel was in trouble, I couldn't go live. YouTube is the ultimate authority. I'm going to give this channel a break. Because your attention is here. And now we're going to play Ring Around the Roses. We're going to go to the, to the, the other channel. Then we're going to go to another channel. And we're going to keep y'all punk ass busy. Doo doo lady. Grown ass woman. Doo doo lady. We need to take up a collection. We need to send her some, uh, a cash out. No, we're, we're not sending you no cash out. I should send you some diapers, some adult diapers in the mail. You can't hold your bowels. Doo doo lady. So let us come back later on the other channel and we're going to talk about this sister, yeah, sister Dookie. Shout out to the Deacons. Shout out to Razzy. Z-Man. All of you who support and put it down and defend this platform. I appreciate you. I thank you so much. And we will see you later on the other channel at 815, 815 p.m. Central Time. <laughs> Sister Nova. Hey, that's a good one. Sister Nova. Absolutely. That's what I'm going to start using. Sister Nova. So let's talk about Sister Nova on the other channel. 815 p.m. Central Time. All right? And let's really, really break it down. Let's really expose her for all hypocrisy. Just because you're a loser, just because you're pathetic, just because you illiterate, that's not my fault. That's not the Deacon's fault. That's not z Mass fault. That's not uh, Razzie's fault or Sister Ann's fault. That's your fault for, for not wanting to do nothing in your life. Want to blame it on everybody except yourself. So I catch y'all on the flip. Six, seven hours. And let's talk about Sister Noble. We out of here, y'all.